Alright, hey everyone, what's up? It is the Young Pro here, and welcome to the first episode of the new uh, RPG Maker Horror Series. Alright, so in this episode, you are going to learn to do what you just seen. First thing, sirs, you want to go into the description, and you want to look for the Kaz Light script. There is a link in the description. So what you're going to do is you are going to copy all of its code, and you are going to put it in materials. You can do that by right-clicking where it says insert here. You're going to right-click, click on insert. You're also going to make a credit section, and you're going to type equal sign begin, and this is where you're going to put all your credits. And then I will explain how to use those later on. Basically, you just put at the end of your game, you put all the people who, uh, who have made it. Yeah. All right, anyways, and then you also want to do end, or equal sign end, and then we're going to click OK. Now, after you've installed the CAS light script, you want to create a new map called Start. And you want, this is where you want your player start position to be. By going to the event layer, right clicking, and set as starting position player. Next, you want to go into the database. Go on over to the system tab and delete this actor. Because we are going to completely start blank. Next, go on to the actors tab and create your own little character. I created Jake. Click OK. And now we are going to create a small little event. After you've installed the Cas Light script, you want to make these events. The first thing you want to do in your event is go to tab 3 on the event commands and go to script and you're going to type this. S equals dollar sign game underscore map dot effect surface and then S dot change color you're gonna set 1 0 0 0 500. This will, this will make the screen completely dark. After it's completely dark we're gonna add the party member that we just created, Jake. After that, we're going to transfer it to the beginning map. In our case, it's going to be this map. Click OK. Now, we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did with the first script. It's going to be S equals game map dot effect surface. And this time it's going to do S dot change color 55. This is the frames. So this is how long it takes for it to fade in. And then you want to do 0, 0, 0, which is black, RGB. And then the strength, we're going to do 300. Click OK, and then wait for 60 frames. If you're confused about any of these events, go watch Season 2, Episode 14 of my RPG Maker Tutorials. You can get there by going to my channel and clicking on the RPG Maker Tutorials link within the banner. Anyways, we're then going to show text. There's, um, what, what's going on here, yada yada. You can have whatever text you want, but in this case, I have this. Then wait for another 60 frames, and due to copyrights, I cannot give you this uh, zombie growl sound effect because this is copyrighted by Audio Micro. So you're going to have to either make your own sound effects or find some on the internet. Then we're going to wait for 120 frames, and then we're going to have some more text. And then we wait for 60 more frames, play SE Monster 7, and then we're going to activate the lantern. To activate the lantern, you want to go into the script, and you want to type L equals dollar sign game underscore map dot lantern. Then you want to do L dot change owner dollar sign game player. Then you want to do L dot set graphic torch M. Then you want to do L dot set underscore opacity 180 30. You can set you can play around these values if you want. I just kept them at default, which is 180 and 30 by the. Then you do L dot show. Click OK. And click OK. Now go over to our map. Now if you're wondering how I got these little zombies, the zombies are actually by this person called Cazador. You can actually find the zombie sprites somewhere online. I'll try to link it in the description, but I don't know if I can find it or not. But if I can, it will be in the description. So click OK. And now we're going to make a new little event, and we are going to do set move route for event 01, which is the zombie down at the bottom. And we're going to turn throw on, chain speed to 6, direction fix is on, move up, direction fix off, and throw off. 
We're going to wait five frames, and then the player turns up. So he looks at the zombie. Then we're going to wait for 20 frames. Then we're going to show some text. And then the zombie jumps in front of the player. And the player's like, whoa. Now here's how we start doing the lightning flashes. So just the same way of setting the screen color, you would do game surf surface, you would do game map effect surfaces, and you would. This time we're gonna do one frame, and one five five for each of the z uh, the previous zeros. The strength being five hundred. And after that we're gonna play a thunder sound. Next we we'll wait for twenty frames, and then we fade back into the blackness, and twenty more frames. This time our strength is five hundred. Because after. In real life, after a flash of lightning, it kind of, like, makes everything really bright for a quick second, and then that kind of adjusts your eyes, so it makes it more difficult to see in the dark, so it kind of throws that more realistic lightning flash kind of feel. Then we're going to show some text, and then we're going to make it flash a couple more times. Once, with uh, the, the same values as this, then we're going to wait for about five frames after we play a sound effect. Then we're going to play a thunder sound, we're going to wait three frames, and then we're going to do the same thing, but change this value the second to the last, which is the blue value, to 255. Wait three frames, play Thunder 6 again, and then we're going to go back to the 155 value. And then we're going to wait for 20 frames, and we're going to fade back into the blackness uh, within 20 frames. Now we are going to set move route for the player, and we're going to move him down twice, skip if cannot move, and wait for completion. Then we're going to hide the lantern by doing L equals dollar sign game map dot lantern L dot hide. Next we're going to change transparency. We're going to turn that on. If you're confused on how to get there, you can go, you can find it in the second tab and change transparency. And then we're going to do transfer player to a map that we call fade. This is actually important because this the Kaz Light script kind of like fades pictures as well, so it makes it very difficult to show the title. So we'll, a workaround for that is we're going to create a map called Fade, and we're going to transfer the now transparent player to that. After you've transferred the player, we're going to stop the sound effect of the zombie, if your sound effect is still going. And then we're going to change the map to absolutely no darkness at all uh, by setting the last value from the previous 500 to 0 and setting the frame to 1. And now we're going to show a picture. This picture being our case, uh, the title screen. And the picture number being 100. You can be any number you want, but I'm just going to choose 100. And set the opacity to 0. And now we are going to go move picture, set the opacity to 255, make sure it's the same number. Wait for 120 frames, which is about 2 seconds, and then it's going to fade it out. By picture 100 and opacity to 0 by move picture. So that's pretty much how you create what you've seen in the intro, and do stay tuned for the next episode because who knows what lurks in it, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you later.